Hey there, YTPC. Michelle Brute coming at you from Wisconsin. It's actually pretty warm right now. It's, uh, the phone says 45 degrees, so it's well turned. Hope you guys survived Black Friday. Um, we, of course, did not participate in it. Uh, just kind of had a chill, chill day around the house. Um, you know, not a lot of exciting things to report other than the fact that uh, just when I was going to light this up earlier today for my customary middle of the afternoon video, my son made it clear that he was not, repeat, not going to nap. Tonight I am smoking my, uh, my Marksman. Let's see, which side's the nomenclature on? Here we go. I don't think you can see that, but this is a big favorite pipe of mine. It's definitely seen some use. Um, smokes like a dream, though. In it, I've got a little King Solomon from the Smokers Abbey in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, I was instantly attracted to this uh, sniffing around their proprietary jars. This is just an amazing, amazing jar note. Uh, the only thing that's remotely like it that I've come across is actually here in Milwaukee at Yulee's. There's um, a blend called Blend X, which the Yulee's description of, this doesn't really have a description, just basically says it's the perfect after-dinner treat. Um, akin, what did they say, akin to a, a sweet cordial. Which in the case of Blendex is absolutely true. It's kind of like smoking a, a piece of really good pie. Um, or like, no, it's like smoking a piece of uh, German chocolate cake. That's what it's like. This is not that sweet. The smell is deceptive. The, the tin note is very deceptive. This is this is a good solid black Cavendish. Um, you can see the smoke output is unreal. Uh, very very creamy mouthfeel, but not not that sweet and not that flavored. kind of surprised at how much of a just kind of a mellow Cavendish kind of taste this has compared to what the tin note had led me to believe. Anyway, um, well actually before I, before I anyway, let's uh, take a, you know, you can see that's a pretty sweet, oops, spilled just a little bit, pretty standard looking uh, black Cavendish there. Um, little on the sticky side. Um, I actually did set some out for a little drying time this afternoon and kind of set it out for longer than I'd meant. And, uh, I think I actually over dried it, but this is, this is a different, different batch. Um, anywho. Okay. So now let me move on to the second thing that I wanted to mention. So I see that I'm approaching 300 subs. Uh, I think I'm at like 294 as I record this. Um, my intention has been to be to offer a uh, giveaway when I reach 324 subs. That may seem like a very weird and random number to you. Uh, but for those of you who are math geeks out there, 324 
is actually chai times chai. So it's 18 squared. Chai being the number 18 um, also means life. Uh, it's a very auspicious number to people in the Jewish community, especially people who are a little more mystically oriented, which is not necessarily me. I, I am not remotely mystical. But um, uh, it, it was something that I had had said to myself a ways back that I would skip the 300 sub ga and hold a giveaway when I reached 324. So chi squared, 18 squared. Um, so pretty soon I'll be having a giveaway. Uh, I've been thinking for quite a while about the stuff that I want to include in it, but I have a little bit of time still to uh, get it all together, but it's gonna be something. So say, stay tuned for that. Um, anyway, I hope you guys have been very, very well. I'm going to get back to my Cavendish here. Um, coming up this week, I have hopefully uh, a really fun side-by-side -side comparison that I plan to do. Stay tuned for that. You guys be well. Have a very safe, fun weekend. And I'll see you soon. Zygazunt.